Damn it. Hello, Tim from Tough here, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm joined as ever by Master Hellish. Hello there. Uh, we've got plans. Um, I'm going to start work on the triple station. Don't know how well that's going to go. Probably terribly. And Hellish, you're doing what? I'm doing module production. Uh, we did one third of it last episode. Uh, I'm going to finish it. Ah, yes, I remember. Uh, right, so, okay, I guess I'd better get myself some mining drills. Right, so... Um... Oh, yes, uh... Regarding the copper fields, um, people have been yelling at us in the comments again, or yelling at me. Have they? What, what have we been doing now? Well, it's basically just having a go at us for putting the trains uh, vertically instead of horizontally again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know about that. But my argument is there isn't a lot of room, and I did what I could, so... <laughs> so screw it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh... And plus, it will be gone when this thing runs out, so... Calm down. It's just a game. Yeah, I mean, we're not ones for doing things perfectly, are we, Tidmouth? Oh, no, definitely not. Uh... Oh, look at this. Alright. I need... I need some belt. I need some... Fa we're on fast belt now, aren't we, for most things? Yeah, we started uh, bringing those into the system. Do we have any mining wheels in the system? Down here in Hope. But if not, how are they crafted? Oh. No, nope, they're ringing you belt. Alright, never mind. Uh, mining drills. Green set. Oh, they brought me some. Okay. Now, it Green has to be said, Tidmouth, bits. I'm trying a bit of an experiment. Ooh. Are you sure that's safe? No. To be completely honest. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm just going to leave that. Screw it. Right, okay. See how it goes. Put right. These away. How can I make 22? It's probably not going to be enough. Stuff. Uh... Right, what else can I do this episode? There's actually a bigger stone vein up here. There's a nice big stone vein here. Hmm. So I think it's about time that um, we introduced a few things for people who may not have seen the whole series from the very beginning. What do you think? Yeah. Seen as my robots are uh, building everything for me this episode, um, why not? I'm going to take. A, I'm going to do a little tour. I'm going to do a little tour. So before I start the tour properly, uh, it should be noted that a lot of the base has been rebuilt like eight billion times. So, um, where there was things originally, there wasn't, and now there isn't, but there was before, or something along those lines. Yes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, don't you? Right, I'm just going to come up here and try not get hit by a train, because I thought if I'm going to do a tour, where would be a good place to start? And that would be World Spawn. So, here it is. This, um, this, what is it? This electric pole surrounded by lights is world spawn. This is where you spawn when you die. Not if you die, when. Um, when we first spawned here, there was absolutely loads of trees. I mean, this whole, oh, damn it, I crashed. Uh, this whole area was, um, was just trees. There you go. Oh, my goodness, this car had stuff inside it. Never mind. It'll be alright. I'm going to power it with wood. Um, it took a long time for us to dig out those trees and get things going. And the resources that we found around here to start off with really, really took a toll on us getting things together. And when I say us, I actually don't mean me and Tidmouth. Because I started this series with a guy called, a guy called Larry. So if you want to see those early videos, you can actually look at the playlist, and the link to that is in the description of the video, isn't it, Timmer? Yes. And um, what it is is that Larry then took a break from YouTube. He went on hiatus. He um, effectively almost retired from doing games, which was a shame, really, because we was doing really well, and me and Timmer was working on a few other projects. So we decided to 
work together on this one, and I brought Tidmouth in to effectively take over from Larry. So many, many episodes later, and the original steam plant that was where I am now has been rebuilt uh, into a massive solar farm, which I say massive. It's not as big as some of the solar farms I've seen on Factorio, but it, it certainly serves its purpose for us. In fact, if we look at the power, which I just crashed into twice, uh, you can see that we have 1.8 um, thousand um, turrets, laser turrets, um, draining from uh, the power system, draining the massive 43 megawatts. It's, that's quite a lot. Um, and as we go into night time, the production surging, and you can see that uh, we're doing okay there. We're doing fine. Production is fine and we've got the steam engines running at the minute because with all the expansion we're doing it's a little bit risky to leave it just to the solar panels um roughly where i am now is where the first train station was built it was later uh, not long ago actually rebuilt into this new more efficient station at the top here this station up here allows us to unload on both sides of the train and use fast belts and get it really well compressed uh, looking at this, we're fine on coal, we're fine on stone, but we're actually running out of copper at this time. So I'm thinking maybe we need either another copper train or another copper field. Now, Tidmouth is actually working on both of those this episode, so jobs are good. Un. We also have room on this station for trains to stack up. Uh, where did I leave my car? Oh, there it is. Um... So, this station isn't the original station. That power station isn't the original power station. Something else which isn't original is this uh, smelting area. This has been completely rebuilt. Um, we started with quite a small one, and it's it's got bigger, and it's not yet finished. We need to put more in. Um, but that that is a fairly autosave big smelting area. It's certainly the biggest I've ever done. Um, as you can see on the map... Linking all this together is several railway lines, and we've got a big fat wall around the edge. Uh, not much to see there, it's just a wall with laser turrets around. It took us a long time to put that wall in, and quite a few deaths really, didn't it, Didmouth? We, um, yeah. we didn't do very well for a long time, um, because we kept pushing ourselves out towards the enemy, and, well, it just, yeah. It, it was it was hard, but ever since we've put it in, it's made the world a difference. I think. Definitely. We we haven't really had to deal with attacks for a long time. Nope. And that leads me to this area, which is the production zone. All those moral materials that come in by train through the furnace section come down this track here and get processed into various different things. So we've got core elements of. Iron, steel, copper, stone, and uh, coal. Now, the steel isn't technically a core element, but we need furnaces to make it, so it comes in with the other core stuff. And we make various stuff. And as we make things, we put them onto this massive belt system here called the bus. Um, when an item is no longer needed for making an, any more other items, like child items, um, it leaves the bus system and each item is also on the robots network which are now finishing off what I started at the beginning of the episode. Did you see what I did there Tidma? Did, did you see what I did? I was a little bit clever. I, I did a tour whilst the robots built what I said I was going to do this episode. Yeah, that was uh, brilliant. <coughs> I meanwhile well have made probably what is the ugliest mining facility I've ever built, but uh, it will work, so whatever. I need track. I'm just going to get some track. Okay, so um, I actually just removed some things that I shouldn't have done, so I'm just going to put them back. Oh, there I we... wouldn't actually. Oh! Hello, what's down here? Uh, it's alright, it's the south wall. Uh, it looks like there's a new base. There is. There's been a new base, and I don't really care to be honest. They're not posing a threat at the minute. No, not really. There we go. Right. I want to start that again because I'm not happy with it at all. 
So, so we're in to do that. theory, right? So the robots have, well, through the use of blueprints, they've copied the. Um, what's this making? It's making. It doesn't actually say what it's making. It's making the speed modules, I think. So I've, I've, because the ingredients are identical for all the different modules and stuff. Um, I've just, I've just re recreated the whole system here. So we're going to put efficient efficiency modules in here. So we're going to cop. No. Reset that efficiency modules. There we go. We're going to copy that down there. And then efficiency module twos here. There we go. And we're going to copy that down there. And efficiency module threes here. There we go. And finally, we are going to do productivity modules here. There we are. Finally, you learnt how to do the copy and paste in this game. It only took us. It only took me like seventy-three episodes. Um, what am I doing? Medium production here. There we go. And the last set, we'll do there we go. Right, so in theory, now when I connect up the raw resources, this should work. Uh, I am going to just put in a couple of extra power poles. Oh, I have no idea if this is actually going to work. So... Let's see. Um, yeah, that'll do. Right. Two. Right. Look at it all snake through. And what we're looking for is to see the modules being made. Oh. Oh, I've messed it up already. Tidmer. Oh. No, the mm. recipe's slightly different for that one. It's green and red, not green and... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh. Oh, it's supposed to be green. Oh, I missed a bit of the, the schematic. There's a bit missing here. Oh, no. Now I'm going to have to... Can I get all the items off the belt? No, right. we'll be okay. It'll be okay. I just missed a small, tiny, tiny, weeny, tiny bit. I need splitters. Yeah, I, I, I need... Have I got any undies? I need splitters, belts, and undies. Robots, bring me them! Where are they? Where's all the robots gone? Oh, they're on their way. Brilliant. So, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, we need to go down the bo bottom and make sure those laser turrets are okay, but they should be fine. Yeah, I think they're in the green network, so they should be being repaired too. Okay, so this splitter here. There we go. Now everything's fine. I missed a, sk uh, a simple splitter from my schematic and it messed the whole thing up. <sighs> Well, don't, don't sigh at me that much. Not really my fault, not that much. And we need one more undie there. Um, actually, no, no. Okay, so let's just check to make sure everything okay. Uh, everything is okay here. Yep, that looks all right. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. That's supposed to be an undie as well. There we go. So the little green ones are coming out. Oh, they're all getting taken by the the passive provider chest at the minute, Tidmouth. It's right. going to take a while for them to all process. But everything looks okay now, Hooray. I think. Oh, I 
love the mechanicalness of this whole game. Beautiful, Tidmouth. It's beautiful. It's all been produced. Uh, we are a bit short on blue circuits, though. That's the only problem. Hmm. Well, they are expensive. Now, that, that one's going to be mining coal as well. Uh, it's really what I want to do. Uh, right. I ran out. Of, I did that. Yeah, I finished my project. It's all running. I'll come in over to see how you're getting on, mate. Uh, well, I'm just currently trying to do this, making sure I'm going to have the copper on the one side of the belt and the coal on the other. I just need to tell that to filter out coal because that one mine is going to get coal in it because it's where it is. Um. Yeah, but it's it's going to put coal on the belt here, isn't it? Yeah, that's why that's that's there to filter the coal onto this belt. Hopefully, mm. it's quick enough. Oh right, I see what you mean. That's an interesting way of doing it. Well, it's to keep. Oh, I don't know. I was what I was what I was thinking of doing was having sort of all three things come together into one station and have like a filtering system. So like. A sorting system. Yeah, pretty much. See, see, what I would do is just have three separate belts, but that's just me. Well, that's what I was trying to do, but it's going to be difficult in places like this where... Um... Well, ooh, actually, oh, hang on, what I could do... I just ha keep these as two completely separate belts, so... The copper You'd have to like... move this miner site slightly, though, wouldn't you? Well, no, because there's filter. I'm keeping the filter there, so it filter the coal onto this belt. Oh, I see. Right, if there is any coal, it will pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Right, I need to get rid of all this stuff that I've got on me. Right. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some building and I'm going to get ready for what I'm going to do next episode. Or shall I start it now and get it done for next time? I'm going to start it now. Right. Let's ditch all this in here. For some reason I had loads of laser turrets in that car and that is no good. Let's get rid of all that. Get rid of that. And that. Keep my construction robots on me. Get rid of all them. Just remembered I keep getting given these. I don't want to. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, that turret thing and that deconstruction planner, I'll keep that. I need a blank blueprint, and I don't think we've got any. Uh, I've got a blueprint for the turrets thing we were using an episode ago, two episodes ago. Yeah, but I need a blank one. Uh, I don't think they're that expensive to make. Yeah, it's I... just one advanced circuit. You can make maybe. them blank, and I can't remember how to do it, though. Just... Uh, I think, you need yeah, electronic right, circuit. right click. You need right click on one that's got something in it, and then it's. Ah, there we go. Right. Jobs are good. And right. I've got my blueprint. What I'm going to do, Tidmouth, is you know how we doubled up the smelting area to have two lots of smelting for. Oh. Uh, for which one was it? Copper. Iron. For iron. I'm going to do the same for copper because it's just not happening. There we are. Yeah, that'll probably help. Uh, right, which one of these is going to get iron in it? That one. I want... All right, then. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get run over my mine car, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over there and then turn that one to copper. So let's see if I can do that with what I've got here. So we want the whole of this section here. Like this. Oh no, wait, hang on a second. That one's different. That one's the... Hang on a minute. Cancel. Cancel blueprint. I want this one. What that one? I like it. Oh, we're being attacked again. Have we got any lights? Okay, I'm going to move these lights a little bit. Uh, there we go. 
Just to make it symmetrical, because we like symmetricals, don't we? Yes. Right, let's try again. One more time. And got it. Right. Oh, this is amazing. I just plonked down a massive load of everything. Okay, now what's the gap between? It was three, wasn't it? So that's no gap. One gap, two gap, three gap. Oh my goodness, I accidentally placed it. Well, not accidentally. Kind of accidentally on well, purpose. Lighting drills, because I need more iron plates. So. Right, uh, what do I need to do now? I need... We haven't got any spare um, robo-ports, have we? Uh, oh my goodness. The robots just came in and started putting stuff in. It's brilliant. Hooray. I also need medium power poles. We'll get some of them. So the idea is, is that we're going to just, we're going to have two here, two there. We're going to put the robo ports in after that section. Looks like the iron is fully, been fully utilized. Although it would be nice if I had, let's get some belts and stuff. I'm going to put an improvement on the iron line as well when I get a chance. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, look at it go. Power systems are in. It's all going well, Tidmouth. Everything's coming up gravy. Oh, I can get gravy in this game. Uh, no, which is a shame, really, because... Um, I want something to go with my fish and chips because you can get fish in the game, can't you? Yeah. Although you can't get potatoes. I haven't seen potatoes. Uh, I think we so... need to find a village. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong game. Wrong game. Um, I do that a lot. I still haven't got half the things that I wanted to have for this build. So. What's that? Ooh. That now I have. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an extra bit for this. No, wrong way around. Here, and the idea is is that I am going to do it so that the iron, uh, sorry, the steel is fed by both iron plants. Although, come to think of it, I have no idea why I'm doing this because um, this is all being ripped out soon. So, hey ho. There we go. Oh, for crying out loud. Why can't I go anywhere without crashing into stuff? Because you're a terrible driver. I'm not a terrible driver. It's these tank controls. You don't expect tank controls for a car. Hey, well, it's kind of tank controls. Well, you say you're not a terrible driver. That's not what Mad Mike has told me. Look, that was a, that was a technical malfunction. <laughs> um... And I've just realised that this has been built and it's completely fine apart from the fact we've got no furnace. No, we've got no furni at all. We've got no furnace singular. We've got no furnaces because we need st uh, we, we need stone bricks. We've got some stone bricks, haven't we? I don't know, I thought we did. I don't know, I'm going or to order some stone bricks on the network. I, mean, uh, there's, and then... there's, I know there's definitely ones in the chests. I don't, I don't know if we've got... Oh, okay. They'll bring, them, they'll bring it over to me. And what I'll do is I I will then um, I will then sort it out ready for next episode then. Hey, sorting. And and it'll all be ready and I'll have this done and sorted ready for next episode. Yes. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes. Nice. Thanks. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, comment, all that good stuff. I've been Simple Twelve. He's been Master Hellish. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.